A big question on everyone's mind is what will school look like if kids go back in the fall? Public educators are in the process of figuring that out right now. The Department of Public Instruction recently released its guidelines for school districts to follow. News 19's Marcus Arthold spoke to our public educators today. And Marcus, we all just want to know, are the students going back to the classroom this fall? I know that's the question on everyone's mind, Heather, but it's still just too soon to be able to make that call, especially with the recent rise in COVID-19 cases. But central teachers did tell me that they're hoping to have the same start date as usual. We know the when, but we don't know the how. I am hopeful that we will be back in early September. If I had to put my nickel down on something, I would say that we will be in some sort of a blended model. The president of the La Crosse Education Association says schools need more funding in staff if they're going to have to teach two lesson plans, one online and one in person. They're going to need more support. It's as simple as that. Not everyone learns the same, so Havlicek says not all lesson plans can be taught online. And we know that like straight online schooling probably works if I were to be generous, for about 15% of the kids. In order to make it fair, districts like La Crosse and West Salem are working together to figure out how to accommodate 85% of students who need some form of in-person learning. We're all working together very, very hard to ensure that we're going to provide something that's safe for everybody. And we know how important our schools are to our community. And, you know, we're going to do this together. Reber says that collaboration is the most important element to planning for kids to come back to the classroom in September. As we continue to go and we start to, uh, you know, get our staff involved, and really that's going to be our next step, to get our staff to start to think about what this is going to look like and what, you know, what are we capable of doing and what are things that uh, are going to be some barriers and roadblocks and then start moving forward. Heather, there's still three months until September, so they've got a little bit of time. But between the health department, teachers and parents, it's a really complex issue right now to know whether or not students are going to be able to walk through those doors this fall. They did assure me, though, that they're going to have a confident answer, hopefully by the end of July. All right, thank you, Marcus, and we will keep our viewers informed on that decision. Coming up at 10, we'll hear a little more on how educators plan to work together to make whatever that final decision is work for all students.